thank you so much to all of you. Um, Pastor, thank you for uh, for the word of God. Uh, God use you. And also, can you pray for my family? Uh, me and my family. And all of us are here. Thanking the Lord for Let's pray, okay? You want to reach your hands out and pray? pray. So it's just not me, it's all of you. And uh, he can fill your prayers. When, when someone's being prayed for, they can tell. And uh, there is a heavy, heavy burden of responsibilities that this couple carries for all of the Philippines. And uh, it's important that he has people like you who pray for him on a regular basis. God, thank you for last night. It was a sight uh, to see. I, I will never forget the end of that fight when one man who lost ran over and stood up in the corner and raised his hands like he had done something. And the man who won the fight went to the other corner and got down on his knees to thank you for the way that you've blessed his life and his family. And in that one picture, there's a sermon to be told for all of us that as we, as we go through this life, that we should go through this life humbly before the Lord God. Because God is the giver of all good gifts. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. And I thank you that the senator and his family, that they know and that they understand that you are the ones that rescued them. You are, you are the one that has elevated them. And even in the midst of their blessing, they continue to walk humbly before you. Even as the great champion spoke here just a few moments ago, the thing that is heavy upon his heart is that Everyone in this theater had a chance to hear the gospel and to learn more about the Bible and to learn more about Jesus Christ. And God, I pray that we will take the things that we've seen, the things that we've heard, the things that we have experienced this week, and we will take those things and we will leave here a, a, a different than when we came. We, we thought we were coming just to hear, see a boxing match, but we didn't know, God, that you were going to be working in our lives the way you have. I thank you, God, for the way you have provided in the midst of a a cold where you can be tired and worn out but somehow God this man had the strength and the energy from you oh God to overcome his opponent last night and to walk away victorious I want to thank you for his strength not his physical strength but his spiritual strength oh God and I pray father that you would help him and bless him as he leaves those that are in the team Pacquiao camp I pray that you would bless him as he leads the people in the government, in the halls of government in the Philippine nation. I also pray that you would lead him and direct him as he oversees the people in the Philippines. And Lord, the thing that's important is that that country is full of people that still do not know you. And the thing that is heavy upon his heart and the thing that is heavy upon your heart is that they all have a chance to hear the gospel and to respond to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I pray for favor, God. I ask God as he moves forward and he decides the next step uh, in his career, his boxing career, the next step in his political career, God, the next step in his family, I pray that you would be with him. Help Manny to have a fear and a respect of you, O oh God. I ask God that the decisions that he makes, that those decisions would be made not by the poles of men, but by the pull of an almighty God, the God who created the, the heavens and the earth, the creator of all things. And that as, as your creation, God, that we have been placed here to honor you in word and deed. And so I pray that this mighty champion, this great senator from the Philippines, that all the days of his life, God, that he would simply walk with you in step according to your spirit and according to the word of God. And I pray for sweet Jinky and her family. She, she is the, the, the matriarch of this family. As she, on her knees as she prays and as she reads and meditates on the word of God, as she protects those who are underneath her, her children, I ask God that you would bless her and give her strength for the 
demands upon her life and for those of us that encroach upon their time. I pray, Father, for grace and mercy to be upon her, upon her children, upon her family. I ask, God, that you would watch over them, be with them. And, Lord, I pray as they travel back to the Philippines that you would give them safe travel. Help Manny to completely heal, help his eyes to feel better. I ask, God, that they would heal quickly and that there would be no long-term ramifications from this fight last night. Lord, we thank you. We love you. Thank you for Jesus who died on that cross. May we honor him and honor you all the days of our life, we pray in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen, amen and amen. Let's give them a hand again if we can.